Hey guys, it's Friction here, Tiger Tank 1 2. How many call me? I don't really care. And welcome back to World of Tanks. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Steel Hunter. And to be more precise, we're going to be taking a look at the Harbinger MK4 and the Arlequin, which is the French little ELC, even 90 mutant, as I like to call it. And uh, we're going to be starting with, um, you know, basically, we're going to be previewing the Steel Hunter game mode. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at the vehicles, the uh, advantages, disadvantages, and the upgrade possibilities that you have on this French vehicle. One second, I just have to sneeze. Oh, almost. Oh my god, I hate it when you don't sneeze, but like your entire body is getting ready for it. But whatever. This is not the point of the video. We're going to be talking about the Arlequin. So... First and foremost, we are going to have a look at the commander. It is uh, a female um, tank commander this time around, uh, Villanelle uh, Rapier. Um, and her, I don't know, is it her slogan? <laughs> I am the law. And she has six cents, I think, as every other vehicle has six cents eagle eye and dead eye. Eagle eye makes absolutely no sense at all because you don't need eagle eye in this game mode. Uh, you don't need Eagle Eye in the game, it's basically a waste of space and it already kind of gives you a downgrade from this tank to other vehicles in comparison. Because let's say like, um, let's say designated target would definitely be better or maybe even snapshot as the Americans have and the British, but you have Eagle Eye as the only nation and the only tank and it's quite useless so basically you're losing one perk already at the beginning but let's take a look at the vehicle you can see it's a e elc even 90 turret based on some other french tank we don't know it's just kind of a mashup of different vehicles right and um, the advantages of this tank speed damage per minute disadvantages armor and hit points and uh, you can see the vehicle features. It combines high speed and maneuverability with a good rate of fire. It is running a 90 millimeter gun. It's not auto loader at the start. It has AP, CR and heat. Heat does more damage, but doesn't pen as well. And AP, CR um, has better pen, but no, wait, heat does more damage, but doesn't pen as well. AP, CR pens better, but doesn't have as much damage. Right, that's the right way around. Um, and uh, then you were starting off with a repair kit and with the uh, was it recovery mode. If we take a look at the modules and um, the weak spots, weak spot we can just clear right here. It's basically the same on every vehicle. Ammo rack and the engine in the back, but doesn't mean that you cannot pent them frontally. This vehicle only has like 20 millimeters frontal armor, so don't be afraid to shoot it with heat. It's not very strong because it's a light tank and what you can see right here is uh, there are seven tiers and um, there are always two options or three options in the end and um, with this tank i would go with radio detection cooldown um, because the detection range that's only about an increase of 80 meters and um, to be fair that's not really worth it the cooldown is a lot better because now you're cutting off 20 seconds and you have 470 meters. That's enough detection, uh, way enough for you. You're also quite fast, so you need it, you know, to see all the good things that you can collect. Top speed or uh, dynamics, I would go for top speed because this vehicle with 75 kilometers per hour is a lot of fun. Just be careful not to oversteer. It might be a little bit of a problem in the end because you are that fast. But, you know, top speed is always important, in my opinion. So I would go first on the on the top, second on the top. The third one, I have tried out magazine reloading with auto re reloading feature. And um, that was quite neat. And um, I would certainly go for that again. The other option you have is a double barrel gun. But to be fair, your reload time is quite long, like compared to other vehicles that might just have like fast you know dpm um your reload time with double barrel guns might not be as good so i prefer like the the magazine uh, because you have four shells and that's pretty damn good the average penetration is pretty damn decent as well 150 with heat 200 with apcr and uh, 190 and 130 with apcr and 190 with heat uh, on the damage 
Then um, I, I prefer mobility, but you can also go for hit points because the tank is already quite fast. Um, you're going to lose a little bit of the traverse speed and you might gain a little bit of the HP that you're missing. Um, so I went for um, mobility, then I went for um, hit points, but I would rather go for rotation speed because the anti-tank machine gun is exactly what this tank is all about. It has a 105 millimeter gun. Yes, you've read this right. 105 millimeter gun is called the anti-tank machine gun. And it allows you to spam 10 shells in a very short duration. And each one of them does 210 or 270 damage. Um, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on RNG. And um, you're gonna be able to really dish out the damage. I was running the double gun loadout and uh, there was a, one guy running the 105 millimeter uh, machine gun and he was running past me and he was just doing circles around me and just spamming me with those 105 millimeter um, shells and uh, yeah i was dead in a in a second so i would rather go for rotation speed and with uh, the anti-tank machine gun um, i think that's better but i've never really tried the he shell damage um, maybe it might be an option, but it only has 30 to 55 millimeters of penetration. And at the late stage, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I just, uh, just had something in my bloody um, throat. In the later stages, there's nothing that is running around with 30 to 55 millimeters of uh, armor. So, yeah, unless you're fighting your own vehicle, that is. So I'd say without further ado, let's jump into a battle, see it for ourselves, try it out, and then we can go into the Harbinger. Maybe I'm going to be uh, parting this video, making two separate clips because it might be too long, but I'm not entirely sure at the moment. Um, I might just be uh, cutting it in half. So let's jump into a game and see how the Arlequin is going to be doing in the new map. The new map by itself is really cool it's nice looking um, it reminds me of uh, the arrow lake I'm not sure is it called the arrow lake in English um, one of the the lake one of the lakes in um, in Kazakhstan now in the south and um, it's a beautiful lake that doesn't really exist anymore because uh, in the uh, 60s and 50s uh, the Soviets used the water from the lake to uh, harness the um, the cotton production and uh, or harness or be able to grow cotton and what ended up happening was that a lot of the lake just kind of dried up because of that it's an area that looks really really cool and um, I'm certainly looking forward to it uh, playing it on the live server so there is a little bit of a wait at the moment but we should be able to find something in no time right there we go steel hunter um i have no idea what the map is called okay oh actually we we're playing on the old map <laughs> i just noticed it and the old map is going to be a lot more so challenging because fight. it's a, a city and this tank win. is really, really yours. good in open areas where you have a lot of space to maneuver. Yeah, I've completely forgot that they could also just add in the old map or that the old map is going to be a part of this game mode again. I just thought that they would completely switch it out and have the, the new map in there. I'm just going to lower the volume a little bit, especially for the music. So you guys can still hear me and understand me. And nice. Okay, so... I have got shells for all of you. Thanks for sharing that. We are already in trouble. That is a Soviet tank that we're going to have a little bit of a problem penning. Is it worth picking this up? Yeah, it's always worth picking up things. Oh boy, it was certainly not worth it. That is not worth it. 
We have to get out of here. Yeah, this tank does not fare very well in uh, close quarter engagements against um, Soviet better. heavies. And you saw that right there, so this map is certainly not the best kind of map for you to play. Now I have to get used to the spotting mechanics again, so you only spot vehicles if you, like, are aiming at them. There's a French one, it's right behind us. Oh yeah, he's gonna be chasing us. Wait, we all have the same idea, we all wanna get this, so I'm just gonna drive on. And, you know, they can... They can fight for it. We hit. And I can get the uh horn from the rear right here. Uh, because we have to we have to upgrade our tank. We really have to get some more HP in here. Oh it's weird, you don't regain any HP anymore if you are um not I'm picking up sure the green ones. In these boxes. That used to be different in the uh, other iteration of the game, but yeah, right there we can see it. Uh, we're gonna stay in the danger zone for just a little bit longer to pick up that orange upgrade, which gives you like, what was it, uh, equipment that you can use? And then we have to go into the zone. I don't know how long the, the zone is gonna last. We're gonna go for gonna top speed, as I mentioned previously. Then we're gonna pick up some more HP along the way. Three, two, one. Hopefully, no, we're gonna get smoke. I thought we were gonna get like the recovery perk right there. You can see this tank, 75 kilometers per hour. It's pretty damn fast. Gets you around and um, Allows you to... Okay, I have 10 seconds. Uh, we're gonna go for a magazine Do it. You've yeah. reached an important I just zone. made it. I really now just made it. Gets easier. Okay, there we go. There's a tank over there. Uh, I'm not sure if he has spotted us. Okay, it's... He also has... Oh, no. I'm in I'm in big trouble right here. I am in big trouble because he's going to be able to. Yeah, he's going to finish me off now. Damn. We appreciate your contribution. You'll do better next time. You can see that the Arlequin with uh, a 90 millimeter gun with the auto reloader or with the auto loading feature can do quite a lot of damage. And um, if you're in like a close city kind of map where everything is closed off you're gonna have a bad time with this vehicle because it doesn't have the armor it doesn't have the hit points and you could see that we were just being chased by three tanks two tanks at the beginning and then one vehicle in the end and i i just i was hoping it was not a french light tank because if it was something else we might have just been able to um get him because of the uh the four shells that we have of our um auto auto loader and then uh, maybe be able to reload in time and get him and then you know utilize his his um, his perks but yeah that was not the case and we just got absolutely annihilated so i'd say you know what we're not going to make two videos out of this we're just going to jump into a battle with the uh with the the british the harbinger mk4 um, and you can see it's the commander walter busfender and whatever you are be the best one aha motivational quote I like it and um, the vehicle has good penetration a good radio detection operation so it's quite good at finding targets bad damage per shot and very bad mobility so uh, if we were able to build something on this probably go for top speed uh, go for mobility um, in the end maybe uh, rotation speed and then uh, damage per minute right there that might that might be uh, our go-to setup right there but we'll have to see let's jump into a battle and figure it all out oh wait one second i just wanted to check what is the last thing the damage per shot it's a bl5.2 
6.5 inch gun. It does 490 to 350 damage uh, if you fire APCR or heat. The rate of fire is 8.57 rounds per minute. The other one is 15 rounds per minute. But the damage is, is not as good. The aim time is, is okay. The dispersion. Okay, so you have better... Um, okay, you have better reload. 3,900 DPM. Okay. I, I would still much rather go for the faster firing gun. The gun that um, doesn't do... Um, as much as much damage so okay so i think a game consists of Game consists of, hmm, I don't know, was it like 20 players, maybe 30? Well, you can see it's like the late stage of the test server. People have already tried these things out, have already played them. So I can get why it might just take a little bit longer than at the start of the test server. But we'll, we're going to be finding a game in just a second. So once fight. again we're playing on the, the will to win? <laughs> once again we're playing on the old yours. map. So I'm not even able to show off the, the new map, but um, maybe another time, maybe maybe another time we just go into the uh, into the file and uh, fly around, uh, use the uh, free camera mod and take a look at the map. Because I have to think the other map is certainly bigger than this one. Or it just seems bigger because it has a lot of open plain field. While this one just um, has just city all over it. Okay. You can try to run, there we but go. You can never hide from me. There are different methods on how to be successful in Seal Hunter. I've read that a lot of people actually hide at the very start and they hide until the, the very end. They don't try to go into engagements early on and um, that probably can yield success but uh, it's just probably not what I want to, how I want to play this game. So I'm just gonna go and see that I can pick up this last upgrade over here and um, that works oh it's right here it's on the right I'm gonna upgrade and uh, I'm gonna have an advantage with the radio frequency or the rate I can check for it guys it's a German tank so we have to be careful because the Germans obviously have a lot of frontal armor once he's Not aware pushy, of where we are, your tank needs an upgrade. it might be a little bit dangerous for us, but we're going to risk it. And hope that we can find some more upgradables. So let's ping it again. There's nothing in our quadrant, unfortunately. Okay. He just I'm pretty paints. sure there's something precious in these boxes. Now you can see that this tank really is in dire need of uh, a speed buff, 44 kilometers per hour. Um, don't really, don't really appeal to anyone. Jesus, look at this. Very, very, very slow, slow and steady, but still, it might be good enough. Maybe not being the fastest one. 
Oh, look at that. There are a lot of upgrades over here. Gotta pick this up. Hopefully it's going to be enough to grant us top speed. There we go. You have enough experience to upgrade and Now with 60 kilometers per hour, this tank is certainly a lot more comfortable. Um, I would much rather prefer a vehicle that is kind of fast than a vehicle that has maybe a lot of armor, but doesn't have the pace to hold up. Because I think like being able to change positions is much more important than having uh, Not trying to be pushy, a lot of armor. So I'm gonna go for damage the middle of them. Now the going uh, gets easier. I think that's more important to me. Oh, there are three tanks over here. There's one in the dip. There's one tank coming in from behind me. So we have to be careful right here. I was just spotted. I'm gonna go into this window real fast. Okay, so these two guys spotted me. The other guy that is down on the flank has actually taking a little bit more of a distance. Let's try to use our special ability right here. Here comes an airdrop. Oh, you what? He already has... Penetration. Oh boy, we have to get out of here. Because he... Reporting has... Penetration. Like, already Go a much ahead. better gun than we have. Oh, not like this. And he's fast oh, enough to shot. chase us as well. Ah, uh, this is it. Yeah, sometimes, Don't like, these engagements, just you just have to be... Yeah, it's, it's basically luck if you are able to pick up the... Uh, the boosters, or, like, the, uh, the upgrades faster than they are. But, damn, unfortunate. But, I'd say that is enough of uh, Steel Hunter. I still have to play a little bit more to get a little bit better um, but I think the two new additions uh, certainly they do fit into this entire kind of setup and um, I haven't really played that much of the Harbringer to be fair the uh, Arlequin I did play uh, quite a bit Arlequin I really like I really enjoy especially on the new map uh, the Harbringer is a bit slow at the start but if you manage to get past that hurdle and you know get the upgrades early on very fast um, you can you can get like the pace and then after that you can you can get the gun and uh, I have no idea which kind of gun he must have had the same gun as I did 32 pounder and then he had like the armor upgrade because he was hitting me for so much like I was losing a lot of HP with every single hit but we did do a lot of damage to him as well um, he was like one stage in front of us unfortunate but i hope you guys did enjoy this little preview of um steel hunter if you did as always like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one